Okay, my name is Ausiki Podi. I'm a fine arts lecturer at Swami North College. It's a TVET college, a government college in Pretoria. Every year, Ditong celebrates women in the arts. So last year, my students were honored to put together an exhibition celebrating women in the arts. The exhibition is held at the Ditong National Museum of Cultural History. So we're gonna take you through some of the pieces and then yeah, enjoy. Okay, um, these pieces were put together by some of my students. This was done by Penelope Motaou. She painted this two piece of, it's obviously a woman, and it's, it's actually, you know, um, especially as black people, you'd look at it and think, hey, a snake. You know, you look at it and you have a lot of interpretation in your head. But I remember when I asked her about it, well, why pick such a subject matter? She said, as much as a snake is looked at as sneaky and evil, a snake is one of the smartest, um, is it a reptile? I think it's a reptile. A snake is one of the smartest reptiles you can find. It, 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 it comes to you when you least expect. You know, you could be sleeping and you don't know it's there. So it's, it's dangerous and smart at the same time. So I think what she's trying to say here is, as much as we're strong and vulnerable and miserable at times, we smart and sneak, so you must really, you know, be careful when you come around a woman. Oh yeah, watch your step. You know, don't be, too, don't be too comfortable when you're around a woman. You know what happened with the snake and Eve story at the beginning of time, right? So I suggest you guys think again when you think of abusing or killing. Us. This represents knowledge. This represents beauty. This represents strength. I'm so tired of being strong. We are told we must be strong, guys. No, no. Okay, fine. So this represents so many things in an African sphere as women. She's old, she's strong, she has seen it. But she's standing and she's gorgeous. My goodness, she even has makeup on, I think. On her lashes. It's one of my favorite pieces. I love this piece. Can we move to another piece? I remember when she did this piece, she was uh, in, uh, like a junior student. She just, she had just arrived. She had a concept down, and I would like to do a woman with flowers on her head. This artist is Patience, Patience Park. She did this in 2000, is it 2016? I'm not, why didn't she write the year? However, yes, she did that back then, and I think what she's trying to interpret here, what she's actually trying to interpret here is, as women we go through so many transformations, so many challenges, so many, my goodness, like how can I put it? However, you have to find it within your soul, within your spirit to calm your spirit down. You know, when you, when you are calm, you can think clearly. And she's this, um, Whenever something happens and you react at the time, nothing is, like you never saw anything. But if you find the time within your spirit to close your eyes, calm down and reflect, then you get solutions. So I think this just represents a calm spirit. Good, it's more than just her and flowers. It's not like she doesn't have challenges or problems. She's just, she has just learned the art of calming her spirit down. So this is just a calm woman and I would like to be her, you know, in the midst of COVID, in the midst of everything, the stories we hear on television. I would like all of us to find it within our soul to calm down and reconnect with ourselves. So yeah, this is Can we go to another piece, please? You know what comes to my mind when I look at this piece? We grew up, okay, I don't know if you guys went through the same thing, but I grew up around Bombe Bambe 
women that would meet every Thursday and pray. You know, like my our mothers would leave the house, Baba Laura Bear, we're going to pray for for whatever. There was always something to pray for. So looking at this picture, I'm thinking of women praying. You know, as African people, I, I can speak for Africa because I'm in Africa, I'm an African. So the only actually hope and strength most Africans have is God. It's prayer. It's Seapparo say, yes, I might not be rich, but the minute I put on that Seapparo, whether it's Lutheran, whether it's Catholic, whatever, the minute I put it on, my goodness, my sins are gone. I'm righteous. I am, I am, I'm strong, I'm beautiful. You know, this, this to me is more spiritual. It's women praying, it's women hopeful, it's women with faith, women coming together to, to not to gossip about each other, no, coming together to pray for each other. You know, so this is more of a spiritual peace for me. It actually comes my spirit when I look at it. But when I let the color use, look at the color use. Look how, look how smooth this fabric is. You know, there's nothing rough about it. You don't find that rough texture that you get in some paintings. This is, he paint, she painted it very smooth. So I think it's just, it represents God. It represents purity. It represents, you know, everything holy.